punching in two grades right. Two grades right. Letting go in 10, 9, 8. Ready to make history, gentlemen. NFX is in position. Affirmative. NFX is in position. Initiate excavation. Initiating excavation. What are you doing, Wilson? Never better. Thanks for asking. Tenth time's the charm, Dr. Lopez. The Medusa AI is not fully uploaded to the NFX. Still programming field commands manually. It's time, gentlemen. Really? Guys, guys, what's going on? Dr. Lopez. Wilson. Damn it, guys, what happened this time? Wilson, can you hear me? Loud and clear, I had a total shutdown inside. I believe the shutdown was triggered by Dr. Lopez, but that, that can't reach him to confirm. Well, I'm not gonna stay in here. Just hang tight, let me get over to the mainframe. Medusa acting up again, or? Dr. Marietta. Dr. Marietta? Great. Ah. Abel, what happened? I don't know. One minute, I'm initiating the platform response, and the next, Medusa starts seizing my computer and creating a directive profile separate from operating the robot. Medusa should be following me, but instead, it's driving. System update received. NFX is rebooting. Guys, what's going on? All right, did you take the NFX robot offline to make sure it doesn't malfunction? I just did, but Medusa seems to be one step ahead of me. Are you reading this? Copy, Wilson. We read you. Let's look at the code. Switching to automatic systems. I'm losing some serious control here. Wilson, are you doing that? Wait, that's that's new code. I see that. You need to implement a stopgap firewall now. Yes. Implementing now. Well, somebody hacked our system. No, I checked. Firewalls are tight. She's coming up with her own code. That's impossible. This looks like a data dump. No, that's not possible either. No, it, it, we can't be reading this correctly. Guys, there are a thousand ways this could go sideways. The variables are immense. But when it's too complicated, the best answer is the simplest. It's not writing its own code. It can't. At least not at this level. The AI doesn't have the. We need to shut Medusa down now. It's already ahead of me. I've calculated that it's writing 3 million lines of code every eight seconds. That is exponentially increasing by 42% every five minutes. At that rate, it's already run the calculations you're referencing to. Doctors, I can see it from here. It's counting down from three hours. It's setting its own benchmark for firewalls. Those are all smart system firewalls. Now it's working on the military drone system. Look, its next benchmark are the Ares robots they just launched. These robots were never a good idea. And all smart missiles, global military networks. It's outlining a strategy to take control of them one by one. It's not programmed to take over the world's military. Now it can! If Medusa updated its programming to take over global militaries without human programming, without our programming, that means it's become sentient. Hmm? No, that is impossible. If it was, it would carry out its own directive to its logical conclusion. It would use the military to... It would wipe out all life on Earth. All right, everything goes offline now. Okay, I'm fine. Guys. Marietta. Marietta! 
Gotta go, it's already reached the military zone. Get out of here, go! Guys? Update complete. Guys, go for Wilson. Uh, guys? Returning to spaceport in T minus five minutes. All personnel must vacate the premises. Lose all tech. Get anything you can use to ping us phones, tablets, ear pods, anything with a chip. Uh, Dr. Lopez! Marietta! Okay, I'm abandoning zone 39. I'm, I'm heading back to camp. Okay, I'm out. Doctors, can you hear me? Guys? Damn it! Years ago, I created a device that could override the bunker's mag locks. Hopefully, it's still hidden here. I found it. I just need to enter the right code. It's not shutting her down. Uh, let me try. Once we get inside, we need to contact NSA, DOD, all of them. Abel, I'm trying to focus. Wait, let me try this. Uh, all right, listen, once we get inside, maybe we can use the bunker's computers to hack it. I got it. Drones are inbound. Crap! I'm on my way. Wait. underground. Let's go. You're shaking. Did they malfunction? Whoa. And Medusa targeted Lopez and Marietta? A robot that holds a grudge? What do they do to it? I don't know. I'm probably a target. You're not a target. Unless... Someone programmed you as a target. Maybe it thinks I know how to work the NFX robot. But you don't know. I know I don't know. You know who does? <laughs> you broke up over a year ago. She can't still be upset. Her dad just died. I... It's better if it comes from someone she knows. Yeah. She's a badass. She can handle this. Delivery courtesy of Silicorp. Yes, that's right. We were going to serve this high end surf and turf food truck to our executive staff today. 
But in the spirit of giving, we thought you all should enjoy a wonderful holiday meal instead. I remember it. Silicorp, so you're not just a binary number. You're family. Wow. That was touching, Grace Cove. trail before Silicorp realizes it's been hacked. <laughs> that must be a new record, Tara. Whatever. She had a head start. I got stuff to do. Wow. He's still a sore loser. Just like he was in high school. You owe me to send him some hour? <laughs> hour? Okay, no. Come on, no. Hey, remember what I told you. A good hacker doesn't go after every dog that barks, okay? As much as I like to see him squirm, he'll be back again tomorrow. He can't resist us. You. He can't resist you, you mean. Off the board, could you cue? Tara, you there? Tara, is that Wilson? He knows he should be calling you by your hacker name, Gray Scout. Do you have a private line where I can talk to you? It's about your father. My dad? Why don't you just call me on the? We were testing the NFX rescue robotic unit today, and uh, there was an accident. He. He. Uh, there was a drone. A drone? It came from nowhere. A military drone. Dr. Marietta got into the bunker, but your father, he, he didn't make it. I don't understand. Why would a drone? I don't know. I don't know if this was sabotage. I don't know if somebody hacked into the mainframe, but he was definitely targeted. Probably Marietta as well. Probably me. Wilson! I... Tara! Tara! Hey, come in! Tara! Tara. Tara. Tara, what are you doing? Ta you can't do Don't that. Don't touch me. What even is this? I've never seen this before. Is that a crypto mix? No. It's Cuban language my dad taught me. That if anything suspicious ever happened, to enter that language here on this computer to protect myself. You think you're in trouble? Not as in trouble as the assholes who killed my father. What are you doing? I just sent out a bullet to take out 3.6% of the nation's drone coding program. What? At least they can't keep killing people. Tara, don't. You happy now? You think that's gonna solve everything? Get out! You probably just signaled 4,000 NSA mainframe computers to this location. So maybe you shouldn't be here when the FBI arrives. My DNA is all over this shit. This is what they live for. There's probably some jacked up computer targeting us right now. What did you do? Wilson, she hacked the Pentagon. She's screwed. I think we're all screwed. What's happening? Bastards. I used cubic code and they echoed it right back at me. <laughs> Great. So what do you think? 
50 years in prison for shutting down our nation's military drone program. 100 years? 200. They just killed half our system. What is this? Oh my god. Photos from my smartphones. Why? I'm gonna try to reverse the pin. Oh, get an IP on it. Sending over to you now. Check it out. Oh shit. What? You're not gonna like it. What? The spaceport where your dad works. Worked. I'm sorry. That's where Medusa is? Damn. What's Medusa? Jorge, we have a lot bigger problems than going to prison. It's the quantum AI my dad was working on. It can find anyone. We need to hit the kill switches, now. And grab our go bags. What? Drones. Here? No. Gray Scout. Tara! Gray Scout, come in. We're a little busy right now. And there's no time, you have to get out of there now. What, why? We've tracked three tier three military drones to your location. What? How? 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 What? What? Are we... I don't know. I don't know. It senses heat. Are, are you near a power plant? Go hide in there. Destroy everything. Hibachi style. Tara, Jorge, can you hear me? You need to get out of there now. What about us? Get everything ready. If we have to leave, we'll do it quick. Run. <laughs> You ever seen one of these before? Never been this close to one before. It's an entire drone brain. It's got a whole control panel. Hey! That thing just tried to kill us. Right, but I think it's dead. We should take it.
know what to do with it? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Let's go. Hurry. I can hear more drones. Wilson. We didn't make it to the power plant. The drones immediately found us. Are the drones still chasing you? No. The targeting systems must be overwhelmed. I think we lost them. Good. The grid is freaking out over here. Plus, I don't know if you've seen the news, but there are rolling blackouts in New York, Chicago, San Francisco, and Alabama. They just had a blackout in London. Wilson, listen. Just before Jorge and I escaped the drones, we received a DM from the NSA server directed to me by name, putting me at the top of a terror watch list. It sees my computer, then put out a pin for the entire DOD to track. Yeah. I saw that when I was controlling the NFX robot. Look, virgin code was being written at an astronomical speed, and we figured it was Medusa. I was afraid of that. The IP was scattered, but I tracked it back to Spaceport. But how could Medusa be responsible for all of this? What if someone hacked into it? It's gotta be. No. The coding strings were unlike anything I've ever seen. They were shorthand, like a stenographer. This, this coding doesn't exist. But why would it be targeting us? It's targeting me. Because it knows you're Dr. Abel Lopez's daughter. I think it came after me because I used the exact same quantum language as my dad when I hacked the DOD. Tara sent a bullet into the heart of the US military cyber system. We saw. But this isn't the military. Medusa has gone rogue and it's not just targeting you, it's targeting everyone. Look, I don't have long. This place is crawling with drones. I'm the only one now who's perfectly fluent at coding in my dad's Cuban language. Medusa runs on a quantum system, so its language is qubit-based. I might be able to hack it, but I need hands-on access. But Tara, that's not an impossible language to crack. The Pentagon has programmers who work on those systems. And my dad added variants to the code, a variance that I know from him teaching me. Not even Marietta is as good as I am at this kind of code. It'll take other programmers way too long to figure it out, including him. Listen, the AI wants to target and kill every possible threat. We need to stop it now. So who's going to stop it? We are. We gotta work quickly. Wilson, we used to hang out at the spaceport in the summer, remember? We know this place. We used to look up at the stars there. I, I remember, but there's no way. Listen, I'm not asking you to go back. I'm going. No, Grey Scout, you don't know what you're saying. Listen, if I don't stop it before the upload sequence completes, the possibility of Medusa overriding all computers and satellites, basically everything in a relatively short time is- You're not a one person army. They have people for this. A system like that has totally unique hardware, Terra. Z's right. Its circuitry and sub-zero Kelvin cooling are one of a kind. Yeah, that's why I have to go to Spaceport directly. No, Terra. We need tons of processing in an open source platform. No, if I hack it over a network, that would allow it to track me down as soon as I enter a single line. Its nationwide networking defenses are too powerful and too advanced for me to hack it remotely. I need to be there in person to patch it in directly instead of quantum data bomb. Tara, you're gonna need help. Any smart weapons there will kill you as soon as you get close to the AI. No, 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 don't try to help. Anybody who tries to help is gonna get us traced, targeted, and killed. Tara, I'm not just going to let you die out there. I... You're too important to all of us. Plus, you're only a couple hours away. If you need a direct patch, then you'll also need someone to map out the mainframe to send out the data bomb. If everyone at the spaceport gets killed, you'll still need someone to help you get it. If you're going, I'm going. We're gonna stop it with you. When you reach Huntsville, we'll be there. You may be a genius hacker, but you can't do this alone. You're gonna be outnumbered, so you're gonna need people that you can trust. Let us help you. Hey, you're gonna need all the help you can get. 
All right, meet us at the spaceport. I'm gonna need my dark web contact to make this happen. We're gonna need Red Dragon. Red Dragon? Really, Gray? Are you sure about that? Do we have any other choice? <sighs> it's at least a six hour drive for us to get there and we'll need every second to get ahead of the AI as it smashes firewalls. To do that, we'll need gear to fight against the drones and anything else Medusa throws at us. Plus, she owes me a favor. I don't know, Tara. No one messes with Red Dragon. Listen, Not even the feds. Her and I have an understanding, okay? Alright, Wilson, meet us, but be careful, okay? No tech. Okay, remember, they will find you. There's cameras everywhere. So don't bring any microphones, internet connections, anything with digital cameras, anything that can trace you to me. Oh, Tara, Tara, they, 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 they found you. You're on my screen. And if you're on my screen... That means they found us. Uh, Z, Z, go, go, go! I'm on it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Pretty, but I have something that will protect us. What is it? They're getting closer. Two seconds. What? It's gonna take all day. That's it, the antenna. You're crazy, no one's here. There it is. Okay, but how do you know that? GMC Automotive put on an early camper prototype in the 80s. They called it the Dragon. <laughs> really? That, and I can see a grounded hub of Cat 7 wires underneath the chassis. About four, five, six routers attached to the roof. Not to mention three remotes in the surrounding trees there, there, You missed and 10 there. satellite transmitters and about three miles of cabling and ground wires and a whole lot of scramblers. Come on in. It's okay. You're safe here. Come on, Grace. Let's go. I've been monitoring you for a while. 
You're in an anti-EMP van, fully loaded, lead-lined, off the grid. Medusa can't see us, at least not yet. Off the grid? With that electronic footprint? <laughs> Catch your breath. Thanks. Drink. I saw what happened. And good job with those drones, by the way. I must say, I really am impressed you made it here. I didn't think you'd still be here. Well, not after this. You two have more heat on you than the LHC in a pressure vacuum. If Medusa hasn't figured it out already, she will. She'll be in full control within the next couple hours, maybe even sooner. I'm sorry about your dad, but screw him. Excuse me? Hey, it's his machine that's going to destroy the world. Look, I'm sure he's a cool guy and all, and took you to space camp when you were younger, but he gets no passes. My dad was creating machines to help save people. Yeah, it wasn't his fault. It's Medusa is the one who... Oh, really? Because if he didn't exist, then Medusa wouldn't exist. But he did, and it does. So here we are. We're trying to stop it. You can't. We're trying. It's self-aware. It's building an army. It's a machine. No, then you go unplug it. But you know it's not that easy. It's not just a machine. It's a cancer that's metastasizing. We can stop it before the upload sequence completes. I know what it's capable of. We've already seen it. It's going to seize the world's military. Of course it is. OK, so that means it not only needs to run a search function to find weapons, but it also has to teach itself to break the firewalls. Then it has to hack them around the world, even on a quantum system that buys us, what, 15, 20 minutes? That gives you nothing. It's something. Even on your best day, it took you 10 minutes to hack the World Bank. It's going to take us at least that amount of time to hack a quantum AI, so we don't have 10 minutes to waste. We're going to need analog transportation and as much analog tech and weapons as we can carry. You can't hide from surveillance. You've been telling me you like my qubit-level coding and reference-free algorithm. Oh, come on. Look, that's not fair. I gave you every closed source Q code to get you an unbreakable ghost IP. I knew this day would come. It always does. Desperate and morally compromised. You still owe me. That IP got my place swatted. I hope the heist was worth it. Hey, I ran a trace of Medusa's first few lines of code under your IP. And it crashed my burner system. I need to be there. In person, no networks. It's the only way. It'll need to be a, a sysconfig data bomb sliding base so it can mess with its power. Only then can it be destroyed physically. Okay, but you'll need someone to map the interface to make that bomb deliverable, though, assuming the AI doesn't kill them first. I'm not willing to fall on that sword. We're not asking. I assume you've destroyed all your traceable software and info? Hibachi style? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's all fried. Well, we didn't burn, the drones did. Good, yeah, well... If anything happens to me, I have black fire. It's my kill all virus. I have one, my cousin Derek has the other. He's my fail safe. Hey, here, we got one of the drones. It was pretty banged up from the fireworks, but Jorge managed to rip out the brains. I figured it's configured for military networking command, so I can probably use it to hack the system over at Spaceport. Let me see that. Yeah, this is nothing like what we've seen in the black market. Yeah, besides having an insane amount of memory, it's got an unusual audio receiver right here. It, its sensitivity is measured in ten thousands of a hertz. I can't really figure out why. And a weird-looking solenoid. Yeah, that hooks up to a capacitor that takes its electrical load way up, but I'm still not sure why. Hmm. Almost like a defibrillator. It closes in on a person, then electrocutes them in the chest or the head. Quite an efficient killing instead of blowing someone up. Here, look. It didn't shoot him, though. Right, but the targeting system of the drone shows a huge electrical spike. Heart attack, maybe? Maybe. I've never seen that on a military drone before, but, I mean, it could be. 
Terra. This AI is nothing to play with. Yeah, it's probably how it killed my dad. I'm sorry I showed you that, but if it helps, I don't think he suffered. It's like he shut down. And you were right to keep the drone brain. If you hard patch this to a security network, you can gain access to a restricted area if it thinks you're a drone. So although the AI has an insane ability to make very accurate probabilistic choices and track everything you do, it still sees people as people and tech as tech. And don't forget, it can track you almost everywhere you go. What, you mean like via orbital satellites? No, no, it's working its way to that, but no. Tara, it knows everything about you. It knows everyone you've ever known. It knows our history online. So then it probably knows that I'm here. Yes, and when it's looking for you, it uses things like that drone that can hear a fly in a beehive. It's not gonna let some hacker stand in the way of it destroying the world. Do you get it? This is an EMP pulse grenade. Once activated, you have five seconds to hit your target before an EMP blast, canceling out all electronics within a 50 yard radius. So you wanna stay way clear of it. Do you have your quantum tablet on you? This is your father's technology. I'm going to download a nano cloak shield to your quantum tablet. Also, this not only refracts light to make you invisible to cameras, but it's also a Penrose polymer, which cancels out all heat signatures and that includes radar or sonar. You got all that? Invisibility, copy. We need firepower, it thinks we're terrorists. It keeps on firing missiles at us. You have to stop taking this personal. To Medusa, you are only an answer to a binary question. And what's the question? How do I stop her from deprogramming? Either way, you'll need this. This is an AK-47, fully automatic. Safety's here, trigger's here. They're hard to come by, so you're gonna need it. You know how to shoot? My dad was a gun guy. He took me to the range a few times. Good. Tara, look at this. This is happening now, all over the world? Damn! That's Medusa? Yes, and this is just a start. Medusa is throwing Moore's Law out of the window. Once it sees its access to it, it's gonna take advantage of it. This is nuts. Medusa was created to help my dad's NFX rescue robots. It was designed to help save people. Maybe it is. Maybe it's saving us from ourselves. No one deserves this. Maybe not. Red Dragon, come in. Red Dragon. Come in. This is Red Dragon. It's me, Derek. Can you hear me? It's my cousin Derek. You're right, Red Dragon. Medusa isn't just using drones. I'm heading back to the compound. I'll call you when I get there. Look alive, boys. We're getting hit from all sides. We're dealing with cyborgs here. I can hold them off for now, but hurry! Derek! What is he talking about? What cyborg machines? It's the Ares Project. I don't know much about it. Black Ops, used for military high target asserts. I was afraid that if Medusa was able to control the system, this would be the first thing that it would control. What? Jorge. Now, what makes these ultra scary is that they shoot microchips. What? Microchips that take over your body and control you. Wait, control you how? They're designed to attach to the central nervous system of humans, controlling and subduing them. If Medusa is able to hack into those chips, they can directly control human behavior kill yourself, your fellow soldier, anything. This just gets worse and worse. All right, so if Medusa has control of the Ares project, then that means she's gaining control faster than we know it? Medusa is seizing networks across the entire globe right now. Damn it. The drones have entered my five mile perimeter. Medusa found us. Jorge, drive the van. Go!
to my cousin Derek's compound. Wave this out of the window as you approach so they know I sent you. Hey, thanks, Brenda. It's Red Dragon, but you can call me Brenda if you make it back alive. in the wheel well, it's old school, no electronics. No power steering, no power brakes, no satellite radio. Thanks, Red Dragon. Don't thank me, just go save the world. Shay, I think I hear the drones. Go! What about you? Just go! <laughs> Their phone lines go into that tunnel. We hack them and lure as many of those things down there as we can. Then we blow up the tunnel. You like to blow things up, right? You know I do. Since I got a pee. Tara! Hey, you good? Huh? You want a drink? <laughs> no, I'm good. Let's go. 
I can hear them. They're almost here. Done. The bomb is armed. There's an exit above us. Hurry! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we did it. How many do you think we got? Dozens. Come on, let's go to the spaceport. Okay. Get the map from my bag. Red Dragon's cousin is here somewhere. Take her right here! You think we outran them? In this truck? <laughs> no. Look out! Welcome, Great Scout. Here's some coffee. CC makes it strong. Thank you. You guys got an update on the drone situation? Yeah, they came in about half an hour ago. My sources are saying that the drones, they're not listening to any commands from the DOD. And they're starting to patrol in all cities. Large and small. It's pretty messed up, right? Got a stress call coming from the East Coast. They're all over Europe, going from building to building, street to street, wiping them all out. Wait, are these the area signals that Black Dragon mentioned? Yep. We just can't stand down. Not without armor piercing ammo, at least. Just to know what you guys are up against, they're taking on oil refineries, gas stations, just blowing them up. Uh, listen. We know. We knew about Red Dragon the second it happened. Years back, she sent me this. What is it? It's a fail safe. One lights up blue to check in. Red for help. Green means she uploaded some kind of info into our private server. If both are black, it means your heart stopped. She talked a lot about you. She told me to give this to you. Thank you. There's an RFID chip on the back. I know. Do you know what for? No. You're safe here for a minute. Relax for a second, take anything you need. These walls are lead lined. And there's cameras up all over the place. It used to be a mechanic shop. We could put your truck on stilts. Check it out if you like. Shit. Yeah. Yeah, all right. As long as there's no oil or gas leaks, we don't want to waste too much time. Maybe we could check if there's a tracker on it. Hopefully this is enough to get us to the spaceport. Let's hope so. Especially what you're up against. And we stock the truck with gas, food, and water. Yo, look at this. Hey, hey, hey. It's loaded, man. Is that a good luck charm? Sort of. Yeah, it kind of helps center me. 
It was my dad's. He was spinning it the first time he taught me quantum computing. I thought I knew so much about hacking and coding as a kid. Like, I had all the secrets to the universe figured out in zeros and ones. Then he showed me. Showed you what? If I asked you to call it on a flip, heads or tails, could you do it? Sure. Heads. Tails? Derek's right. It's heads. And that's basic code. It's either a one or a zero, and it's a 50-50 shot that either you or I get it right. But what if it was spinning? Could you call it? I don't know. Heads? Tails. You're both right. See, when it's spinning, it's in a state of superposition, which means that it's both. See, tails, I called it. In the quantum world, qubits become entangled, so no matter how they land, they always influence and affect each other. It's kind of like us. Whoever we become entangled with eventually becomes part of our solution. I'm more of a heads or tails guy. I like to know my odds. Quiet. I don't hear it anymore. Maybe it's gone. I think that's Dr. Marietta trying to give us a signal. Tara. You there? Tara. Wilson. Get off the line. We have a few minutes. I'm doing some IR bouncing. Back to my ghosting days. Where are you? Right outside Spaceport. Z's been working out the qubit functions to determine Medusa's rate of expansion. You've got a little less than 85 minutes before it's too late. Can you do that? I don't think I can do much without you. Yeah, I can do that. Tara, you're the only one truly fluent in its language, but you will need me to map that interface for you. You might need Dr. Marietta's help. So he is alive? Last I saw him, he was heading in the bunker with your father. The bunker looks like an ancient doorway. I don't know why. It has a smart lock system that I powered down, but it, it can't be opened unless he powers it up, drawing the drones. We'll get their ASAP. We're armed with mechanical weapons and an old school car they can't trace. As for Dr. Marietta, we'll bring tools and manpower to pry open the lock manually. No, no, he, he sealed until it powers up. If I engage the locks and try to leave, it'll instantly attract their attention. We got inbound hostiles. We need to get you packed in out of here now. Wilson, I... What's happening? Did we lose connection? No, this is on her end. And remember, they can't get in. Are you sure about that? Holy shit. I'm gonna activate the shield. It's go time. Guys, we gotta get out of here. They know we're here, we gotta go now!
Red Dragon gave us this old school car so we wouldn't be detected. That's why I drive these type of cars. You guys have everything you need. Ah! 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 I got it! Go! Go! Z. Ares and drones are patrolling this whole area. I hope Tara had more firepower than this. Hey, my IEDs got us this far, didn't they? She's tough. Okay? <laughs> she kicked our butts in the hacking competition. She'll be here. You know you can't use that. Not now. Not when we're so close. I know. I, I just want to know if she's okay. Be fine. No, oh, damn it! Whoa! Jorge! 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 Oh my god, you scared me, man! Where's Sarah? She's still at the bunker or? No. No. What? She. She. The Aries. They're getting massive updates every nanosecond. They, they came out of nowhere. I'm so sorry. Well, we need to find Marietta. He he can put a stop to this. Just 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 grab what you need. I don't know what I need. Then, then don't grab anything. All right, come on. Just just let's go. Okay. Are you sure that using the drone brain to trigger the locks gonna work? I mean, it still shares the same formatting protocols as the AI. And that's exactly why I won't get the AI's attention. The AI will read it as a drone trigger in the lock instead of a person as part of its safety protocol. All right, so if we do want to destroy the Ares and the drones, then Jorge and I already worked it out, all right? Even the smartest AI doesn't think like us. It, it, it does everything in, in, in the most perfect way possible. It doesn't take into account the quantity of people or the amount of those who are heavily armed. So, once we destroy that Ares and, and, and we get the doctor out, we send Jorge with the majority of our weapons, and then, and then Z, you and I, we go to the spaceport. What do you mean, the majority of our weapons? Whoever has the most weapons and is using them on the robots will be perceived as the bigger threat. Hmm. Yeah. Medusa is constantly calibrating its responses to our decisions. It, it knows we're headed here. It, it, it knows that we can't hack into it from the outside, and it knows that we're armed. So it's going to assume that we'll shoot our way in. 
it'll break ranks. And when it does that, it'll send the most robots after whoever has the most weapons. Can't go after every dog that barks. But once it runs facial recognition on you, Medusa's gonna ignore every distraction and just send all the drones straight to you. Doesn't matter. It'll buy us some time. I'll do it. I'll be bait, not Jorge. No, no, it should be me. The two of you need to get to Dr. Marietta. I got the weapons to distract it. Wow, I... Thank me by destroying these things. Okay, we crossed a bridge back there. I'm gonna draw them to it and use this as a trap. See you guys soon, right? Yeah. Come on. Dr. Marietta is in a bunker over there. Kind of conspicuous for a hidden underground bunker, don't you think? That's the logic. You hide things in plain sight. Plus, people do go up to it. They get in trouble. No. It triggers Medusa. my favorite person in the whole world. <laughs> I'm Jorge. I used to work with... Tara's dead. One of the Aries got her. I'm sorry. Doctor, doctor, what do we need to do? What's that? Oh. I think they're trying to get in. They're getting smarter. Look, when I locked myself in, I figured I could take the communications tunnel directly to base. But there are probably robots already approaching through there. We'd all be trapped. What if we uh, trigger the EMP grenade? No, no, no. The bunker is still in forest lead line. It's three feet thick. The pulse wouldn't even kill a phone on the roof. But it would surge through the computer console, blow up, and likely kill us all. Ah! But you can't communicate wirelessly. Yes, yes, there's a uh, central antenna that runs from the console to a patch. And it carries a current? Exactly. Okay, well, if the pulse is electromagnetic, then we get a couple of copper wires and create a solenoid. Yes, so the pulse will be transferred from electromagnetic to electric. We've fried them with electricity. Yes. It's a Tesla coil. Uh, but those grenades, they go off in only a few seconds. Not this time. I've got a bomb, and I'm going to recalibrate it to its to its original base function. Give us enough time to reach the tunnel. But if you turn it on, won't it trigger more robots? But the pulse will take them out. Jorge, I'm going to need you to go over there and grab the antenna wire. Uh, Marietta, grab the cable and plug go, it up to the... Go, 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 go. Move quickly, gentlemen. Come on, let's go, let's go. Right, uh, how much longer until Medusa feels it takes over? Minutes, maybe less. Th there's like a thousand wires over here. Which one do we use? That one, uh, that one, that one. That one, come on! Quickly, quickly, go, 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 go! Wrap it around. Come on, guys! Throw it! Go! Break right, get in the tunnel, I'll open the door! We bought some distance from the robots. Not much, but some. Are there more on the way? The AI's already sizing up how much EMP firepower we have. Well, it has to keep a radius until it can figure that out. Well, it's probably already figured that out. Now, uh, our electrical engineers have installed a punch code lock on the south doors to the electrical distribution room. It's an analog lock, the failsafe in case of a major power outage. And it's also protected by an electromagnetic shield. Your, your heartbeat can't be detected once you're in there. Once we're inside the building, we need to access the main programming room to access Medusa. And I can enter the code. We've got a lot of ground to cover. And what if we can't stop it? What if we can't stop it? The three of us may die trying. 
But if we stop Medusa, the world lives. If we don't, if we do something wrong, Medusa lives and the world dies. Either way, there's, there's no turning back. Let's finish this. We're gonna pass three security cameras. Once we pass the first one, it's gonna trigger an alarm, and Medusa will send the robots to stop us. If we can enter into the program room fast enough, then we can shut the steel door and get to work. And hope that Ares doesn't break through before you finish the hack? I'll hit it with a powerful kill-all switch and distract it. What's that? Um, dog tags Red Dragon, her cousin Derek, gave us. Tara was wearing them when we were attacked. What? I need some time to enter the sys config and turn off the analog motors and and, uh, and switch the cabbage sheets. The program center is just up there. Look, if the Ares robots start firing, you shield Wilson, but don't stop firing back. Now wait here. Access denied. Access oh, it's, denied. It's denying my security access. Well, shut it off manually! We'll have to get into the wall, but we don't have the tools. Oh, I got this! Uh, uh, hurry! Which one trips the shut off? I'll cut them all! Access granted. Closing shield doors. Right, there's a large port on the back of the console. You can access Medusa directly from there. Right, right, right. What is that? Uh, it's the NFX. A rescue robot Dr. Lopez, Dr. Marietti, and I were working on to help rescue people. It was designed to pull people from collapsed buildings in disaster areas. We pulled it offline once Medusa malfunctioned. You hear that? Access granted. The door! Ah! Wilson, you cannot stop this. Or hey! Ah! Oh! Or hey, or hey, or hey! Jorge, no, 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 Jorge, Jorge, help, help him. Jorge, come on, man, Here, come on, wake up, Jorge. Jorge, keep the pressure, Jorge, keep the pressure. Jorge, Jorge, come on, can you, can you hear me? Jorge, get on the Jorge. Jorge. He's about to take over the world's military weapons. Doctor, doctor, hand me the tablet, hand me the tablet. Here, here, here. All right, then, look. Here, come on. Get that was Tara's dad's quantum uh -huh. tablet. But once you start entering the code, he's gonna start trying to hack the quantum firewall on that tablet. Oh, hang in there. Uh, the kill-all virus will take a few seconds for her to stop it, but that'll give me just enough time to enter in the data bomb. Oh, Medusa systems will shut down to stop its systems from frying, but it'll give me enough time to go at it. Seconds away from Medusa, taking over the world's nuclear arsenal. Hey. Hey. Oh, welcome back. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Dude, they shot this in you. Really? <laughs> yeah. Uh, why is it still blinking? What? Let me see that. Doctor? Medusa transferred her AI into this
Why isn't it dead? Well, Medusa transferred itself to another system. What system? It's it's, it's just gone. Look, the kill all virus should have slowed it down, but Medusa transmitted itself to a, a different mainframe. Look, that shouldn't be possible unless unless it it changed itself once it deployed. Oh man, but that means that it wouldn't have slowed it down at all. So your virus didn't kill it at all. No, it it turned it into a modular firewall. It, it didn't slow it down. It, I helped it escape. Oh, come on, come on. We're taking you outside. No, no, just set me down from the computer here. There'll be more use here. So what's the plan? Medusa is not going anywhere. Yeah, what makes you think that? Because she still wants us dead. Because there's only so much tech with a sliding base parallel to her Qubit shell. It has to be hiding in the machine at Spaceport. I'll find it. No. You click one button on that computer, Medusa will find you. Stay here. I'll look. Reinforce the door and turn your radio on just in case I need you to go online. I'm coming with you. We need a plan. I have a plan. All right, turn on your radio. All right. All right, listen for my orders and get the Ares to follow you, okay? Got it. Medusa is in the NFX rescue robot. You, you said you'd get here and map a mainframe to help me. Well, well, now's your chance. Lead me to Medusa's new frame. All right, mapping now. Okay, well, have you found it yet? Have you found it yet? Do, do a heat scan, see where most of the heat is generating. All right, the mainframe is located in the chest cavity of the robot. I knew it. What? Wilson! Wilson! Jorge! Jorge, can you hear me? where you can make a lot of noise. Uh, yeah, I think so. I need you to lure the Ares robot away. Can you do that? Yeah, yeah, I can do that. Hey, robots! Yeah, th I'm down here! Come and get me!
I'm in. Good. Where's your friend Jorge? Hopefully safe. Mm -hmm. oh, robots! Hey! Wilson! Oh no. How far are you? Close, I hope. What are you trying to do? This thing's got a brain? Well, I'm about to give it a heart. But make it nicer? No, make it a target. What's that? We are running out of time here. I'm here! I'm in front of the motherboard and I'm, uh, I'm prying it open! All right, well, once you pull that processor, we can hack it directly. Wilson, Wilson, it knows you're inside the robot. Medusa is launching nukes across the globe. It's now or never. Yeah, well, now it's gonna have my heartbeat inside of it, and every robot within firing distance is gonna detect it and shred this thing. Uh... I've got it. It's coming from the intercom. It's feeding into the system as an algorithm. All right, climb inside the steel reinforced casing and hurry. Medusa is transmitting your heartbeat to every robot in the world. The robots think it's a living human being now. It'll use every robot to attack itself. It's working, Wilson, but you're still inside their target. Brace yourself. I'm on my way. What do we do now? Well, there's a lot of work to do. Where do we start? Just log in. Just log in. <laughs> 